Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic in the Town. And as you've seen from the intro, we have a new motel. This is a much requested item in the town. Now we are in the truck stop world. This is a little world in between Komodoville map 1 and 2. It's something we've been doing. We have like a truck stop, we have a truck wash, and we have tons of trucks and trailers. So it's kind of like a little mini build in between the actual big towns. So yeah, we're going to check that out, and we're also going to check out the sweet truck behind me here. But remember folks, if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic, leave this video a thumbs up. It helps out my channel a whole lot. Alright, before we check out this truck, I want to go ahead and remind you guys uh, that we do have voting open for the power plant name. It's in the top right corner. A couple episodes ago, we had the power plant uh, for the town, and I asked you guys in the comment section to name it. So, got some pretty good names in there, so if you want to vote on that... Uh, we'll reveal it the next episode. But yes, we have a new truck here. Now this is, and I believe I'm saying this right, it's a Scania. I believe it's a Swedish type of truck. It is a European style truck. I absolutely love these things, and a lot of people were asking for me to build one, which I might still do that, but this was sent to me by, I think his name is Pedrova. I'll link his workshop in the description. And it looks really good. Now also, I checked his workshop, he does have like a couple trailers and a couple other trucks uh, that you guys might want to check out if you want to bring them over to the truck stop world and play around with them. Uh, I'm pretty sure he'd appreciate that, but yeah, it looks like this thing's made out of wood. Uh, I don't see any suspension glitches, so I don't think it really needs it. It is wood, so it's relatively light. But yeah, this thing looks pretty cool. I've seen quite a few of these trucks on the uh, workshop. Uh, they all have their own little unique styles. Uh, he has a lot of lights here, so I'm kind of curious. I want to see this thing lit up here, so... Alright, let's go ahead. Let's see. One's the door. Looks like two. Oh, those are little caution lights, I believe. Maybe for, like, wide loads. Got that. And, oh, that looks pretty cool. Alright, so let's drive this thing real quick. I don't have many roads in the truck stop world right now. I want to continue this highway and maybe make, like, a bridge or make it curve. I'm not 100% sure, but to the right, that's the truck stop. To the left, that is, of course, the truck wash. And up here to the left is the motel. Now, before we pull into this motel, I'm not going to pull in all the way because you can see I have a cut in the parking lot. Uh, beyond that cut, it is relatively laggy because this building's pretty massive. So, yeah, as far as the future of the truck stop, I think we're, or the truck world, I should say, I believe we are going to do a couple more episodes in it. Uh, maybe a couple more facilities. If you guys have any suggestions for trucks or facilities, uh, let me know below. I've got a couple ideas, but you guys are always really good with coming up with stuff that I didn't even think of at all. So, anyways, this is a pretty cool truck. I actually want to check out the trailers. Uh, obviously, it does drive relatively well. It's got a nice sway to it, actually. Uh, I think it's because of the... I kind of want to check his suspension settings. Actually, he's got the solid axle under there. So a lot of times when that works together, it gives this truck a, a relatively realistic motion. You can see it kind of bobbing left and right. That's cool looking. That is awesome. So, okay, we're going to pull right here. All right, so as far as the motel, now this is actually a really cool building. It's not, like I said, it's not like a huge motel where I've got, you know, 30 plus rooms or whatever you might have. Uh, this only has 12 rooms, and... It lags. I, I warn you, when I step on the actual lot, uh, the cutout part, it, it does lag. I lose about probably anywhere from 20 to 30 FPS. So that's why it's cut out the way it is. But it is a nice building. Uh, obviously, I'm getting 60 over here, so I'm not too concerned that it's going to really hurt the world. I could, if I wanted to, trim off a couple rooms, but I really like the look of it. And it would kind of hurt me to actually go in here and like dig out maybe two or four of the rooms. I don't know. But anyways, how I built this. Uh, this actually only took about three to four hours to build. Uh, what I did, I actually built two rooms and I saved them on the lift. So I had two sections. I had two segments. So you had the bottom floors, the top floors. Obviously the wall is a little bit different from the top to the bottom. So I just welded the rooms together and then we added the lobby to the left and then I added the stairs and did the parking lot. So it actually isn't as complicated as it looks. Uh, I know I said, oh, I'm not going to do too big of a build, and this actually turned out to be a huge build, but realistically, it's not that bad. So there are two different types of rooms here. We have rooms with two beds and rooms with one bed. So we're going to say the one bed's a king size and the two beds are the queens. So let's go ahead and check that out. Like I said, I'm going to warn you, it is going to lag here. So 
Uh, prepare yourself. Hopefully it doesn't show up too bad on the video. So, okay. There we go. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. Uh, it's actually better when you look up. I guess it's because there's less objects, you know, rendering at once. I don't know. This is a... Uh, Kind of bad, but let's go ahead and walk in. Uh, this is a two bed. All right, so we're gonna step into the, the double room. This has got two queens in it, two beds. It actually came out pretty nice. They're fairly detailed. Everything works in the room. Let me go and pull up the spider web. So you've got all your lights here. And thankfully I put all these on switches uh, because initially I had them all just light up at once. And I think that would have really lagged the building because every room's got lights. So yeah, you've got your two queen-size beds here, you got a little nightstand in between, you've got a trash can, your TV stand. Uh, that looks like a little bit too modern of a TV for the motel, but we'll say they, they did upgrade a little bit here. Uh, you've got your desk to complete any paperwork. You come over here, now a lot of people are going to ask, Khan was the first person to ask this, because he's never seen this before. In older style motels, uh, now you think of them, you think the bathroom, everything's in one. In older style motels, the sink in vanity area is actually on the outside of the bathroom. It's on the back side of the wall. Uh, I could probably, if I can find some pictures of it, I'll show you guys. So that's why the sink's out here. Now this is actually the bathroom in here. So you got your tub slash shower, got your toilet here, got some lights. So yeah, it's kind of an odd setup, but that's just the way a lot of them were. So you've got the uh, vanity set up here. You can wash your hands, do whatever you need to do. That's like a hanger for any clothes you have. And here's one of those little luggage uh, carriers. A lot of people don't like to set their luggage on the ground for whatever reason. I know there's some concerns, depending on the hotel, how dirty it is, you don't want to get bed bugs. It gets really gross. I know quite a bit about hotels. I work in one, so I know all the nitty gritty stuff and it's not always very pleasant. Now, these hotels, older style, a lot of times, even some of the newer hotels have these, just the individual units, like right below the uh, window. So this is your air conditioning unit, so you've got like heat and cool. But yeah, overall, I really like the way this room came out. So if you think about it, you have six of these rooms, and we're going to have six of the king-size rooms. So let's go ahead and go over to there. Let's turn off some lights. There we go. I actually really like the look of this building. At first, I was going to make it really ugly, like an old, just really cruddy looking hotel, uh, just because, you know, truck world, but I actually like the colors a lot. I like the pillars, I like the lights, so uh, let's check out. Here's the king size room. Uh, I'm, I'm going to run through this one really quick because it's fundamentally, it's pretty much the same, but there's only a couple little differences. So obviously, you've got just one bed in here. It's a little bit bigger bed. It's king size, and these rooms do have recliners in them. Uh, it's a little luxury. Got a little table beside there, and still got the same setup as far as the uh, TV. You got the little lamp here on the desk, and it's also uh, the same bathroom setting. It's just on the other side, opposed to it being on the right side. So, pretty much the same room. Uh, you got a little bit of art on the walls. You got the blinds here towards the window. So, yeah, I'm really happy with the way these came out. All right, we're not going to go into any more rooms. I want to go ahead and give you guys one more view here. Uh, I've got to be proud of what I've done here because, I mean, look at these stairs. They look sweet. So, yeah, we've got one staircase comes up here. And hotels, or at least motels like this, most of them do not have elevators. So, there's no elevator here. You just come up here, and here's your balcony. This actually looks pretty cool. You can see the truck stop down there, and the uh, truck wash is over to the right kind of need something to go across the street. I'm not 100% sure what it's going to be, though. But yeah, I thought I'd give you that view real quick. Now, let's go ahead and go down to the lobby. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of walk. Let's get off the uh, lot for a second, kind of pick our FPS back up. So yeah, I need a little bit more truck parking out here. I've got all the parking spots. you got even your handicap parking here. There's a ramp here on the side. And then this leads into the lobby area. So let's go ahead and take a peek into this. And here's your lobby. Not much to it. You've got your front desk counter. Uh, this thing over here, a lot of times you have brochures uh, in a little, I forgot what they actually call these, just like a little shelf area. So you can see what there is to do in the area, which obviously we're in the middle of nowhere, so it's probably going to direct you to some like Komodoville activities. So yeah, you've got that. Uh, I like the way this building came out. It looks pretty good. It kind of still resembles that outside, all the little shades of brown and tan, which I really think complement each other. And I don't even know why I'm talking like this. I, I don't, I'm not like a very 
good color coordinator. I think I do a decent job though. So yeah, you've got the uh, front desk here. Uh, there is no full breakfast here. We do have like your quick get in, maybe grab a donut or a duck and grab some coffee before you leave. So you've got that. Let's go ahead and walk behind here. This is the employee section. And here's where housekeeping is and storage. So obviously, uh, a hotel this size realistically would probably have one to two housekeeping staff. And then of course, you've got somebody back here doing laundry. So you've got your like washer and dryer back here, you've got a little air conditioning unit. There's a lot of storage back here. You got toilet paper, ducks, uh, probably cleaning supplies. Uh, here's your control panel for the building. Uh, this is probably where you can stick some laundry and you've got some grid boxes back here. And then if you wanted to see the front desk area, it's right back here. Now, this is an older style hotel, so, and a lot of them still run off of a, like, no system, no computer. A lot of it is manual, you know, you're just writing down, you write down who's in what room, what room's clean, and you hand out keys. So that's why you don't see, like, a computer back here. I'm still trying to make this thing, even though there's parts of it that look kind of modern, I still want this to be an older style hotel, that, so that's why there's not, like, a big computer back here or anything. So anyways, uh, this is how you get out the back, so this will be another employee entrance. And this is the back of the hotel. Uh, probably will put some sort of parking lot back here. Like I said, I'd like to have some more truck parking. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the hotel. Uh, it just came out fantastic. I love the way it looks. I will have this on the workshop. I have it on a lift. I know I've been kind of bad recently. I've, I've been saying, all right, let me stick all this on the workshop. But I haven't always done it. But I do have stuff on the lift. I'll uh, try to get it all uploaded as soon as possible. But anyways, folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Scrap Mechanic. I know it is going to be a little bit of a shorter one, but I still think it is a pretty awesome building. Like I said, we will continue some more in this truck world, and we'll also be continuing uh, doing stuff in the normal Komodoville maps. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this little extra episode of Scrap Mechanic. I'm always happy to build stuff for you guys. It really, like the comment section and stuff like that just always keeps me going, you know, with new ideas and new just motivation to do this so I'm really glad you guys have been enjoying all the Komodoville builds uh, we will have some more of this coming up in the coming weeks uh, we'll be doing some more brick rigs next week uh, might get some more of my summer car I gotta start my city skylines back up uh, today or this week's been a little hectic and we are coming up on the year anniversary of the channel so I want to do something special for that too but anyways folks Remember to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel, and we will see you guys next time on Scrap Mechanic. Thank you!